So much fun. Sapping's quarterback. Bang! Laters. Out of the pocket. Gets pressured. He's gone. Go, son! Put your ears back! Yeah, baby. All right, my friends. How are we? And what is going on? My coffee lovers out there will be... Well, I don't know. You might be jealous of me right now, but... Well, you, you won't be because I don't have a cup. So I'll just be back in a sec. Next minute. Okay. Now. <laughs> guys, if I said I was pumped for this one, I'd... Uh, well, that would be a huge understatement because I am so fucking pumped for this video, it's not even funny. Uh, Sappy has contacted me in the past, as you know. If you've seen my reaction video to backyard boxing and also backyard football, then you know what's coming. Today, we're reacting to the latest football event that Sappy's put on. It's titled The Blood Bowl. And to be honest, guys, I, I cannot wait to, to watch it. Um, I've got to say, man, the couple of videos that I reacted to of Sappy from their channel, I, my cheeks, it, it was one of those times where your cheeks just hurt so bad because you've been smiling and laughing so much, you know? It's that feeling after you've watched it like, oh my god, that was absolutely incredible. I've laughed my ass off. I cannot wait to see the next one. And that's how I'm feeling right now. So it, it's been two weeks since I reacted to those videos. My audience still hasn't seen them, to be honest. I've always got a pretty, pretty big backlog of videos already created, already edited, ready to publish. And that is the only way that I keep my content schedule up. You know, I do put up a video pretty much every single day and I'm proud of it. And this is going to be one of them. I think the, the Blood Bowl highlights is about 16 and a half minutes long. Um, I assume it's going to be 16 and a half minutes of absolute gold. Now, before I get into this guys, <laughs> this concept of, of saying, of putting the call out there, saying right, we'll meet at the field, this time, bring all your mates, bring your cleats, no pads, no helmet, and let's play a game of football. Proper rules, proper formations, proper hits, definitely. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I just love it. It's the kind of thing that, shit, if I was living locally, I would absolutely, definitely turn up every single time. Why not? I'd bring my camera down, just like Sappy's done. Sappy, I know you're grinding away, I know you're trying to grow this channel, and all I'm gonna say is the same three words that I heard from the great man, Casey Neistat. And this was back in 2015, when I was struggling big time with my YouTube channel and its growth. And uh, the one thing, well, the three things that he said, three words, just keep uploading. And that's exactly what I did. And here we are. So Sappy, I would have to say that would, that would be my advice to you. But let's get into the shit. Oh shit, we got some 4K! It's not every day you come across a YouTube video with 4K footage capability. I like it already. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. I really want to keep talking because I want to talk about the characters that we saw in the previous videos. I want to talk about Dirty Rick, you know? I want to talk about... <laughs> I want to talk about our 450 pounder. Six foot four. Absolute beast! In fact, I want to see him run straight. And with that being said, let's go. I forgot about that hit. There he is. Alright. Alright everyone, we're at the Blood Bowl today. Uh, trying to, how many people do we got tomorrow? We have around 20 people today. 20 people! That means two teams of 10, each playing both offense, defense, and special teams. Which is a pretty large number. It might have something to do with the money prize, I'm not sure. Or is it 20 people on your team versus another team that's going to come down and play you? That is the question. Um, he did just mention that, and there is one thing I need to mention, I do need to mention this before we get into it, is that this game in particular, he's told them already that I'm going to be reacting to it, right? And with that in mind, he's, he's created a, a couple of, of, of additional rules, you could say. And I assume he's going to explain those in the video. 
rugby player that's playing with us today that plays at Kennesaw State. Really? Well, you didn't mention that. His name's Bruno. And big shout out to Jacob McDonald. Check him out on YouTube. He has 135. Well, he's trying to get to 135,000 subs. Get him there. Uh, please, all my viewers, go subscribe to him right now. Um, he's a great guy. He's, he's going to start reacting to our videos. He's already reacted to three. He's going to be posting them very soon. So, everyone go check out Jacob McDonald on YouTube. Fucking legend. Absolute legend. First of all, Sappy. Cheers, mate. You're over there at, at, at North Glen Oval, which is North Glen Field, which is uh, I have to actually check that. I wanted to know where they played last time, and I couldn't find out, but I did ask, and he's told me. Because if anyone's local and you want to head down, I'm sure they'd be happy to welcome you. North Glen Sports Complex. Is that the one? That's that's going to be the one, isn't it? Let's 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 zoom out here. We are on the east coast. It seems. Jacksonville. They're in Georgia. Very close to Florida and even closer to Jacksonville. In fact, let me see. North Glen Park 2. So a lot of you guys will know that Jacksonville Jaguars are my favorite NFL team and they play at TIAA Bank Field. So we're going to see if theoretically I was to turn up for one of these games on a Saturday, and the Jags were playing on a Sunday, well, it would take me exactly an hour and 11 minutes by car. So guys, before we get into this, anyone within the vicinity, anyone around the North Glen Sports Complex, definitely head down. And if not, at least subscribe to the channel. So with that being said, let's go. We've got Chris and Shod. Chris and Shod at the, what is the Blood Bowl. You're showing them. Do you guys think you're going to win MVP? I mean, honestly, I think I am, but uh, if anybody else thinks they can take the spot, it's guaranteed one of us win it, dog. And what's the, what's the semi-pro team y'all play for? What's the semi-pro team y'all play for? We I mean, play for the Packers. I mean, but we got our own team. We're yeah, we're the only team. We're putting the team together right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know anybody want to come out? Yeah. We'll take linebackers. Line man. man. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's the city for the Titans? What's the city? Camden. Titan Camden. Now, I'm pretty sure both these boys play cornerback. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is that the guy on the left actually has a rugby headgear on. And um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even sure if he knows if it's, if it's for rugby or not. In fact, um, no, it's got to be for rugby. It can't be used for football. So what's your score anyway. predictions? How many touchdowns? I have about four on, a couple of picks. No. Look at the camera. I'm going to have about four on, a couple of picks. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Camden. So what's your score predictions? How many touchdowns? Have about four on, a couple of picks. No. Look at the camera. I'm gonna have about four on, a couple of picks. <laughs> you no. Know? I mean me. I'm just an all-American, so y'all just watch out for me. Just watch I can't out. Tell I can't tell you. Do you think it's gonna affect unanimous all-American ability today with money on the table? Go harder, baby. That's what he said. Oh, that's what he said. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, I'm here with. Are they permanent? Um, first thing I want to say. So the first rule change, and I don't know if this is a rule change or not, but it's definitely something to improve the excitement of the game, is the fact that the MVP of this game and each game in the future receives a monetary prize. Now for some of these guys, money may be quite hard to come by, so a little bit extra in the back pocket ain't going to go to waste. Nigel today, uh, Nigel, do you think you're going to win MVP? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely? Put that up for it. Why? Put that up for it. All the effort. Do you think that there's money on the table now? Do you think it's going to be... What? Hey, uh, Nigel, do you think you're going to win MVP? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Put the effort for it. Why? Put in the effort for it. Put the effort for it. All the effort. Do you think that there's money on the table now? Do you think it's going to be... I'm not worried about the money. It's for the sport, man. It's for the sport. It's for the passion. The Who's this? What jersey are you wearing? This is me. We invent. It's Todd Gurley. TG4. TG4? TG4. You going to play running back a little bit today? That's what I'm wearing. It's probably my offense, baby. <laughs> yeah! As far as touchdowns, guys. Touchdowns, I'm going to call three. Three? Call three, three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. AJ knows that. That does sound pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, we should go on the same thing. <laughs> Damn! Okay, so these are the local boys coming for the uh, the BFL. We've got uh, we've got some cleats on. That's a good start because in the last one I saw a few guys running with bare feet, and it's like, nah, mate. Do you think you're gonna win MVP today? Oh hell yeah, most definitely. I'm not even focused on that today. You're not. Nothing to do with money. Nope. When she comes out, he comes out a lot anyways without the money, so it doesn't really matter. What about you, Jose? Do you want the money? No. 
You don't want the money? So if you win MVP today, I don't have to give you the money. No. I can have it. I don't want the money. I want the money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the money. Yeah, Just wait money. and see. Go get the money. Oh, oh shit. So Seppi is, 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 is currently... Um, the tail of the tape, if we were talking about backyard boxing. Sappy's at 6'2", 190 pounds. This fella looks like a boost. But he ain't no 450. Where's that guy? He's getting the money. You, hey, Cole, come back, Cole. Come back, Cole. Hey, he won, he won MVP last game. You think you're going to do it again? I don't know. Only Tom can tell that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm here with Dalton Tindall. I love this shit, bro. Dalton. What about your match of the day? You know what? This could be content before any game. Yeah, that's what I said in the last game. Anyone out there with a sports team, football, rugby, soccer, basketball, doesn't matter what it is, have someone come down. Could be a teammate, could be a random, could be a friend. Have them come down with the camera and just capture things. Just ask questions, capture. Capture, capture, capture. Document, document, document. Because in 10 years' time, when you're 10 years older, you will want to watch this shit. And if it's not the rest of the world wanting to watch it, it's going to be at least you. And that's the cool thing about YouTube, is that videos are timeless. They're not going anywhere. This shit is going to be here in 10, 20, 30 years! You know what I mean? If you guys have a massive hit, or a massive run, or something fucking crazy happens on camera, in 10 years' time, you're definitely going to be looking that back up. And you know it. Uh, Devante. How do, you, how do you feel about it? You think you're going to kick his ass? Yeah, he's a little cry, maybe. He talk shit. Talk yeah. shit. He won't even quit. Shredded. Yeah. Because he, he knew that if he was talking shit, he wouldn't get stood up. You know? He says up. whatever. He's been talking all week. Do you just think you're a better all-around athlete than him? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Show, show Devontae real quick. Most Devante. definitely. See right there? He's a little scrub. He's standing there. He, he's standing there with his shirt off. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> my man. My boy is in the middle. Man. I hope you run it straight today, buddy. Got the little blue thing around his head. All right. So do you think you're going to win MVP today? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've been training for it. For sure. Cole's... Yeah, Cole, you said money. So put the effort in. Put Cole on his ass. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Say that one more time. I'm going to put Cole on his ass. He's going to put Cole on his ass. I'll just wait. Okay. Don't All tell right. me that Cole's playing running back. Uh, you haven't played with us since the Beast Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, okay, okay, okay. I was wondering what rugby team he mentioned before, but he said Kennesaw State, KSU Rugby. This is a rugby player playing college rugby. That's not something I say every day. College rugby, not college football. KSU Rugby. I promise we'll get into this eventually. Kennesaw State Rugby. Well, as you guys know, I mean, this video is titled Rugby Player Reacts. So to hear that we've got an actual rugby player playing college rugby is... Pretty fucking cool. Kennesaw State Rugby Program is part of a Division One South Independent Rugby Conference College Men's Rugby Program. <gasps> Established in 2005, Kennesaw have long been regarded as one of the premier clubs in the Southeast. Our club's most recent notable success was finishing the 2009 season as the number 15th ranked Division Two collegiate team in the country. Bermuda International Sevens. That looks extremely interesting so we've got a men's team we've got a women's team we've got a club men's team and a club women's team and also high school holy shit look at all these you know what i'm going down a rabbit hole and we don't have time a little while but you still kicked ass there today i don't know if you've seen but there's gonna be money for the mvp uh, I'm, not really I, just to come out. <laughs> I knew <laughs> i'm getting a i'm getting a, a bit of a gist here everyone i think everyone wants the money but they don't want to say they want the money let's see how they play Oh, you're good. You're good. Um, but do you think you have a chance to win MVP today? Depends on who's my quarterback. <laughs> All right. And um, what's your score prediction? Uh, my team winning, the other team losing. So I wonder what position he plays in rugby. You know, I see on your shirt, I heard that you made it your only Kennesaw State rugby team now? Yeah, Kennesaw State University. And what position do you play? Is there certain positions in rugby? Uh, that... There is positions in rugby right now. I'm fluctuating between playing inside center mm -hmm. or somewhere in the pack. Alright, sweet. Alright, cool. Okay. Sweet, bruv! Inside center or somewhere in the pack? Now, I'd say you're probably not going to be in the tight five, so you're going to be probably either a, a flanker or, you know, coming off the back of a scrum as a number eight. Um, probably, you know, coming off the back of a scrum 
as a number eight is, is extremely similar to, to getting a handoff as a running back. So, you know what? With that being said, let's get into it. Do you think we should move the quarterbacks, Mississippi Times, to four Mississippi? Okay. It depends on the situation of the game. It was, my point is, it's like, what I was trying to say was is that we usually do seven Mississippi, and we can only run if they're pressured or, you know, yeah. tackled. But we were talking about actually making it four, and they can run without pressure. That's what they think of the chaos, though. But look, they, they, they well, I, I think that's why. They people complete. Well, fourth quarter, ain't nobody going to be running. Everybody can... Yeah, it's interesting. When you got backyard rules, you, you can't make it too crazy, can you? So they're saying that. In the previous games, the quarterback could just stay in the pocket for a maximum of seven seconds before getting hit. And they could only run it up the field if they were being pressured. Now they're saying to change it to four seconds. Get hit, that could kill five. I was saying five first, and then cut it down to four. So you got that second delay, so you got to make that decision. But then that's going to call five, you're going to do five minutes, the quarterback can run without yeah. pressure. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. We got to make it all the way Okay, so it's from seven to five. Let's tell this real quick. Uh, I don't approve of the, you know, the fighting and stuff out here. I don't like people getting in arguments, serious arguments, fighting or anything. Uh, uh, this is a new rule, guys. Um, I knew about it, but they didn't. So let's see how they react. I think he's going to say that if we ever have any arguments on the field, we now have a way to work it out. And it's not a flip of a coin. Let's see what it is. But I do think people should settle things. What I, we have talked about is no arguing, and if you want to argue, then you can put on the boxing gloves. Uh, you want to you can put on the gloves for one minute, and it'll be a part of the video. Wait, you brought the gloves out here? Yeah, I did. Only one of the three hotheads are here today, and I assume the other two hotheads were in the boxing video that we saw. So, so that means that we're gonna have fights or we're not. Oh, even better. We're picking teams, guys, just like it's at school. This honestly just gets better and better. So there's 20 players, 10 each side. We do what we can. Hang on, what do we got? Red team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got... <laughs> we've, uh, well, we've got our three boys here. We've got our rugby player. We've got our man that really doesn't care about the money. Um, who we got here? Um, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got some height. We've certainly got some height. Sappy 6'2, we've got 6'4, probably at least 6 foot, 6'3, 6'2, 6'2. This ain't gonna be easy. Oh, here we go. Yeah! I didn't see any girls. Where are you going? Oh, the dead leg. Look at that. I actually quite like that. Bang, look at that. Hey, where's he going? Sappy, are you the defender? Is Sappy defending? Where do you think he's going, bro? Is he gonna bang his left foot in? Or is he gonna keep going? Or is he gonna pull a goose step? Well, he doesn't really do any. But I quite like the fact that he jumped in the air and sort of made the defender think for a moment. Because that's what it's about. They hesitate for a split second and you're gone. That first run was good too. Oh yeah! Well, he did a nice dead leg too. So what do we got here? This is fourth down. We've got a... Oh! <laughs> the big step! We're going to watch this one again. Fourth down. Bang! Laters! Big four! Oh, go son! Get low, boys! Get fucking low! Yes! What a step! Right, we're gonna have to look at that one, that step again. I'm sorry, mate. That was the biggest. That was the biggest bang off the right I've ever seen in my entire life. And I think Sappy was defending. No. Bang! <laughs> Big 
stiff arm. Get off me. Nice. That's that's good. Oh yes. The rugby player. You better watch that rugby player. He may be running straight up and down, but if you don't go low enough, you're going to get that stiff arm right in your face. This preseason, former rugby player Jared Haynes. Well, he's phenomenal. Even though he runs vertically, you see how vertical he is? If you're not properly set up and you're trying to reach and grab a guy, you're going to get that arm stuck in your face. Good. Oh, nice. Yeah. Woo! Bit four tackles. Go, son! <laughs> what? So that's a touchdown. Hey, the big man got one touchdown. Go, son! Oh, yes! Yes! There's not many interceptions in the game of football, so you take them when you can. Oh, beautiful throw! It's, it's stuck. Has he got the pace? Pin your ears back, son! Get him! Good tackle. Like seeing that. Doesn't matter how fast someone is, how fast or slow they are, I always love seeing someone running at full pace. It's a great sight to see. Ooh, nice throw. Hang on, let me see that touchdown. Yeah, nice throw. Oh, he's away. I love the fact there's no helmets, no pads. It's, it's basically like rugby, except using American football rules. So much fun. Sappy's quarterback, bang! Laters, out of the pocket, gets pressured, he's gone. Go, son! Put your ears back! Yeah, baby. Alright, everyone's taking a water break right now. We're up. The goal team is up 5 to 3. Which would be like 35 to 21. Pretty much 5 3. Whatever. No kicks. So there's no kicks. Gold is up 5 touchdowns to 3. Gold team's up by 2. They got the ball. Red team's got the ball. Oh, oh yeah, that's the, that's the thing, man. You gotta. These guys, these guys are planning on, you know, growing this event, obviously. You know, there's always going to be music, there's always going to be food, drinks, and hopefully if there is any revenue that's able to be created through these events, it's going to charity, which is pretty sick. Now, we haven't seen any arguments yet. Oh, here we go, here we go. Nice pitch, pitch play. Yep, yeah, follow your blockers. Tackled, but fuck, he needed to put his head on the other side. Look at this. Bang, right? Oh, that's how you get your neck crushed. I mean, he may be left handed, which means that driving with your left shoulder feels better, but in that case, it would be more effective and safer to have your head on the back side of the offensive player. Having your cheek, unfortunately, to the offense's cheek. It's cheek to cheek. That's what I was always taught anyway. Let's go! He stopped him. He fucking stopped him, that's for sure. Oh, pump fake. The rugby player's open! Oh no, it's fumble! Ooh. Nice catch, bro. Defenders the beat and he does it. Nice quick slant. Stay on your feet. 
Here he goes. He's playing rugby now. Ooh, damn. Sappy wasn't happy with that. Oh no, it was a fourth down. <laughs> it means business. Biggest hit we've seen so far. Ooh, damn, bro. That would have hurt. Yeah! Oh, that might just get him the MVP once again. Yeah! Let's see how many defenders he bet. That first one was good. Nice little route. Beats one. Laters. Get off me. See ya. Beats three. One's on his back. Doesn't matter. He's taking them. He's taking them with him. Just too big. He looks about 250 pounds. That's not easy to stop. Hmm, this guy's got a bit of, a bit of, a bit of something. I like that this blonde guy looks quite smooth when he runs. There he goes. Watch out, damn. Oh, what? What? Oh, shit. Stripped it. Down by one. Oh, go! See, this is when you really actually want them to make plays. When it's close, it's near the end of the game, you actually want to win. Go, son! Go, son! Get off me! <laughs> what? Did that guy just fucking jump into him? Did that guy just literally... Look at this. He gets airborne. Whoop! <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I like that. See, I told you he's got something. Let's see exactly what it is. Got the ball. Turns. Too much pace for my man in the Titans gear. And then it's bang! Bang off the left. He looks like 6'4. Oh no. What happened? Ah. Oh. oh no. We got injuries. No. Bro, I'm feeling hot. I'm feeling like crying, bro. No, 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 no. We don't want injuries. No. No, man. We want to... Oh, fuck. You're my favorite player, man. Please, please, I pray. I pray and hope right now that you get back on the field. Let's see what happens. That was a nice throw. Oh yeah, stay on your feet. Oh, we've got a new player. Go, son. <laughs> yeah, boy, get him down. Go, Saps. Pin your ears back, mate. Use your blocker. That's the way. Oh, would have been good to stay on your feet there. Yes, needed that. <laughs> you guys, you guys need to start going low, bro. 
Well, not so low, not, 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 not too low, but at least at the line of the, the crease of the hip. That's where you should be aiming with your shoulder. If they step you, they step you. But the last thing you want is to get that stiff arm in your face. Ooh. Couple touchdowns, one tackle. What? <laughs> so it's gone through the red guy's hands. Sappy thinks, holy shit, I'm in luck, it's mine. But no, it goes past Sappy's hands and... Well, <laughs> straight into this guy's hands. Big stiff arm. Don't you love that? Cheat. Cheat, is it? <laughs> or oh. oh, cheat. Good hit and good footwork. Give the rugby player a run. Oh, he's away. He's gone. He's gone. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. Nice footwork, bruv. Stay on your feet. <laughs> He's like, get off my fucking shorts. <sighs> it's a good step though, watch this. Bang! It actually looks like his ankle just broke. <laughs> oh, what a throw! That's got to be the play of the game. Oh, look at that, 15-11. I'd have to agree, mate. Alright, MVP today, majority vote, vote, majority vote is Devin. Yeah, good shit. Alright, everyone, uh, everyone's gone now. Um, yeah, we had a great bowl game, the Blood Bowl was a great one. Um, I quite like the fact that he hosts these events. He lets everyone come, have a great time, everyone go, and then he decides to, sit, to take stock of how things have gone, bring out the camera, and, 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 and recap. So let's see. Let's see how today's event went. I think everyone kind of got a little upset at the end. We're still working out the, you know, the perks and everything of picking our MVP. Um, I think it was very split today. So most people, a lot of people thought Cole won. And a lot of people thought mm. Devin won the MVP prize. Um, mm. Like I said, I thought Cole won. Mm. Um, that takes nothing away from Devin. He did really good, and Devin ended up winning the MVP, pri MVP prize. And um, I think some people kind of got upset about it. But we're going to try to improve the way um, MVP is chosen in the future to make like kind of prevent. I'd have to say Cole was MVP. You know, the, the splitting of everyone, like where it splits everyone up and everyone argues and stuff like that. Um, we were gonna. I was gonna bring everyone up one by one, but everyone got kind of impatient, so we just raised hands. And I didn't want to do that because of the fact that it. I think it splits everyone up completely, and then everyone can see who chose yeah. who, who chose this, and it creates bad, bad blood between people. And I feel like it did today, and I, I don't like everyone yeah. leaving. You're never meant to show who votes. I mean, even in the rugby change rooms, right? We we go around. The coach will go around, or a player will go around each player individually and ask them you know, away from everyone else so no one can hear who was your MVP or who were your top three players. And we'd have to give three points for one, two points for one, and one point for one. The coach would tally them up and he'd have a first, second, and third for MVP. Now obviously the first player would get the MVP, the second two would have points tallied where the competition would award the player of the year award to the player with the most points at the end of the year. So with these guys, they should definitely keep it secret. Like you said, Zappy, I'd have to agree. 
Or... Imagine if you were on Survivor and everyone knew from the beginning who you wrote down on your pieces of paper. Just wouldn't work, would it? They weren't satisfied with the, the choice. So we're going to do a little different next time. But Devin, you did really good today. He had a lot of stats. Um, I can't wait to edit your highlights. Can't wait to edit Coles too. Uh, both y'all deserved it in my opinion, but there's only one winner and Devin got chosen today. So um, congratulations, Devin, on winning MVP. By the way, I hope Jacob's ratting into this right now. I appreciate you ratting into this, Jacob. Um, we really love you watching our videos and love watching your reactions. So keep doing that and we'll keep providing content for you. I think everyone that's been watching our videos, um, please comment, like, and subscribe if you love our videos and if you're new to the channel. And, uh, yeah, thanks, Jacob. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, say that more time. I'm gonna put coal on his ass, I'm gonna put coal on his ass, I'm gonna put coal on his ass. Bro, <laughs> I thought you said that. He literally picked you up and carried you 20 yards for that touchdown. Maybe next time. Yeah, there it is. Sappy? Um, please comment, like, and subscribe if you love our videos and if you're new to the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks, Jacob. No worries, bro. No worries at all. That was, as expected, a whole heap of fun. Whole heap of fun. Um, and guys, I just want to say, I hope you enjoyed my video. And I want to say, I hope you all continue to have fun with all this because that's what it is. You guys have a unique product. A product that you know certain people are going to absolutely love and certain people probably have no interest in for someone like myself of course I love it I love boxing I love football I love rugby I love having fun I love playing sport I love being competitive but I also like joking around and all of that plus more is wrapped into Sappy's channel so with that being said have a fantastic day everyone and I'll see you in the next one peace out